Hey y'all, welcome to Kimberly's Game Plan. Um, this is the first of our cooking videos with Kimberly's Game Plan, and we are going to be making a healthy grilled cheese using spaghetti squash. So, I um, wanted to let you see some of the steps of what to do, and know it. Uh, this does take a little bit of time just because there's some prep involved in getting your spaghetti squash up and um, getting it cooked and and ready so i want to show you the steps and i'm going to let you see the finished product i have one that's uh underway right now and so we will test it in just a little bit so i'm going to take a spaghetti squash these are a little bit tricky to find this time of year um so the best places to look well you look you just want to look in the produce section sometimes they're not very big this time of year um but so you'll just have to look around and sometimes they're sold out and so you might have to make more than one stop i have recently been making these and just using my microwave to cook them instead of roasting them in the oven either way will work but i want you to uh to see how easy it is if you use the microwave and then you don't have to wait an hour to roast it so um i use this um, to be able to just pierce my spaghetti squash and so i can get i only i do two of these and then i'll put that in the microwave and i will heat that for i'll cook it for five minutes in the microwave when i take it out i'm going to cut it in half um, and this I'm going to let you see is one that I have I've cooked it for five minutes I've cut it in half and all I have to do to be able to get it cleaned out and ready to use I think it's a little bit easier if you'll take that knife and just go around the edges um, and then I'm just going to dig the seeds out and put them in a bowl and then I'm ready to uh, prepare my squash and again, I'm gonna do it the exact same way. That's all it took, just taking that out a little bit. You might be able to see the steam coming out of it. Um, so I'm going to take uh, olive oil that I've put in this aerator, and I am going to just spray this with olive oil. There we go. And I'm using um, a mixture of salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and I'm just gonna season that, sprinkle that on there, and then I'm going to, just like I would do on a roasting pan, I'm just gonna put it on a plate. I'm gonna put it face down and I'll put it in the microwave. I have one um, in cooking right now, so I can't put that one in. So here is one that has already, that's come out of the microwave. It really doesn't look any different than uh, had I just pulled this out of the oven. So for this recipe, it this is where it gets time consuming. So it takes three cups of spaghetti squash. So I'm literally just gonna take one, my measuring cup and I'm gonna scrape it out um, of my, the half of my squash. And I wanna get three full cups. And you will need, if you have a good size spaghetti squash, one will be able to do what you need um, for this recipe. Apparent, was that Lucy? Apparently, Lucy decided she wanted to speak to this because it is delicious, but it's good for you. It doesn't leave you with that bloated feeling, um, and you're getting servings of vegetables. So I have another cup of spaghetti squash. I've tried this a million, bazillion, gazillion ways, um, and there is no easy way to get the liquid out of here. I wanted you to see in the recipe that I've already made up that's cooking, this is how much liquid I got out of three cups of spaghetti squash. That is two cups of liquid. Um, so now Lucy's going nuts over heaven knows what, and Piper's up in Cow Pal's lap, and she's feeling the need to maybe chime in. I was able to scrape all of that out of my spaghetti squash, so that's good. I've got the microwave going off because I need a little more of the spaghetti squash to be able to get um, my full three cups. But I believe, oh, that looks great. Now it's hot, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get, I can at least get another cup out of this if I need to cook some of that down a little bit more. Woo, that is hot, y'all. Typically, I wouldn't scrape it quite this soon just because it is so stinking hot. 
Okay, so there are, there's my three cups. So this is the process, actually, let me, oh yes, let me peek at this, and let me get this dry, and I am going to pull this out. I forgot to get this out. Okay. There are a couple of ways to do this. I know we've done this before um, when I was doing it on Cooking with Kimberly, and um, and I posted the recipe, and some of y'all tried it in a waffle iron, and it was kind of disastrous. I love this way just because you don't really have to mess with it. So I did it in my air fryer, but I do it in the um, on the roasting pan. And let me get my spatula. So it has browned. All I did was um, spray my pan and I patted out my mixture after I've gotten all the ingredients together. I put it on there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it. I hope. This is a little bit... I'm actually going to let that cook just a tiny bit longer before I flip it. Um, I forgot to time it. And it's a little bit easier in here if you time it, but I'm thinking in everybody's air fryer it's going to be a little different. So, okay, so I will hop back to the... We're going to kind of go back and forth today because I want you to see the finished product. So, I'm going to take this because it's hot. I can't put my hands in it yet and I'm just going to use a spoon and I'm using a um, sifter. What? A strainer. A sifter, a strainer. I have a gadget that I want to be able to use but it doesn't exist to my knowledge so if you all know of one that exists that would be able to get all of this liquid out it would be fabulous because it's easier if you can get some of this liquid out before um, and so I just apply pressure to this so that I can try to drain as much of this out. And the reason you want to drain the liquid is so um, that when you add your ingredients, because we're just going to add eggs and cheese to it, um, when we add our ingredients that it will, um, it's going to be, um, it'll be more sandwich like consistency so you can actually pick it up and put it in your, uh, pick it up like a sandwich. So. Um, it, if it has cooled off, you can take your fingers and just go around the edges. This is super duper hot. So um, I'm just going to keep pushing down in there and try to get as much of that liquid out as I can. And I'm not having a ton of luck, which uh, is not surprising. After I do that... Get your gloves. Oh, I forgot about my gloves, Callie. That's brilliant. I forgot I did that last time. Okay, don't look in my drawers, y'all. Do I have two? Yep, I did. Don't look in those drawers. If you did, erase it really quick because I don't want you seeing in there. They're not like Instagram and everything's perfect. Okay, Cal, you're brilliant. See, I haven't been able to do this because Callie hasn't been around to video and to help me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm just going to wring that liquid out. Okay. Ooh. Look at all that liquid coming out. I want it to be above the strainer because um, I, I don't want to lose my vegetable. Callie can't stand what this sounds like. I actually love it. It's kind of relaxing to me. Why didn't I remember these gloves? Um, these are really to wash dishes, but I don't hand wash dishes. So, that's yeah, that's D-Hood. D-Hood is my dishwasher. That's a blessing, but I am not into, I ha I, that's why you have a dishwasher. So, I'm not into washing dishes. Okay, so I'm going to keep See how we have to work at this? You just have to be patient. You got to take your time because it's worth it. It's going to be delicious. Okay, I'm going to keep squeezing through here and get that off. I was supposed to get this video done on Monday and I just haven't been able to. It's been one of those weeks life happened. Throws you some curveballs and we just didn't get it done. Okay, I about have that ready. But I'm going to pause that for just a second. Ooh. <laughs> Callie's got... They're just rubber gloves, sister. So they're... 
sounds so gross. It's really not that gross, but let me grab something to sit this on. And, oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, see how that's browned really good? But I've got to flip it so it can cook on the other side. But this can be cooking. You can make this into a sandwich. Look, it's going to flip like that because I got all that liquid out. I'm going to turn it over. And you can tell it needs to be browned on that side. It won't take nearly as long to brown on this side. I'm going to let it brown and then, um, then I'll show you the next step. So that can be cooking. If you have an air fryer, that's a super easy way to do that. Um, if you don't have an air fryer, I'm going to show you in just a minute how you can do it in your in a skillet. I prefer either of those methods over um, using the waffle iron because the waffle iron is just um, it's kind of moody, and so sometimes it turns out and sometimes it doesn't. So I've wrung a lot of that liquid out. I'm going to take half of my squash and I'm going to put it in this towel. And actually, I need to sit that there. I'm going to hold it over my bowl. And look how much liquid I still can get. Can you see that, cow pal? I want to make sure she's uh, tuning in, letting y'all see that. You got to be careful because this will go flying at you. It uh, squirts out. And this can make your hands sore. I'm not even kidding. That's why I wish I had a little gadget that would wring this out. And I have looked and looked and looked, and I don't see that there's one made. It's in my head if somebody would like to join with me and make it for me. Okay, let me let you look in here. See how dry that is? I'm going to put that in my bowl. I want to get all of that out. That is the secret. I've done this before when I didn't wring it out well enough and it does not turn out as well. So now I'm going to take the rest of the spaghetti squash that's in my, what's that, in my strainer. I keep having sifter in my head and that isn't right. That's, that's originally a sifter. Oh, it originally is. But I think of the sifter of the little thing that I turned that of my grandmother's and not, well, I guess everybody has those. My grandmother had one that you witcha, witcha, witcha with the little, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, okay. Well, mine has a little crank. Oh, she's used that before too. You have? What'd you make? Oh. Step over here a second. Come over here and say, hey, in case any of my Kimberly's game plan peeps have never met you. This is Cow Pal. She's one of my videographers. Abby's another one, but Abby's getting ready for a date. Don't tell her dad. And I'm the better photographer. She's, this is Cow Pal. Cow Pal was on fire with basketball last night. She had a few points and it was fun, right? You were finally feeling your threes. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. So um, they didn't have to have practice. The JV and freshman team didn't have to have practice today. So she got to come home. So that's why we're filming. Okay. You can go back. Okay. I'm done. Unless you want to do something with my gloves. Okay. I'm going to let you see again how dry that spaghetti squash is. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Lucy! Don't even know what to say about that. We don't say that. We say, please be quiet. We use our manners, right? You just had a, a little um, loss of, you just forgot, right? Yeah. Okay, so that, that was tricky. That's done. Okay, that was your hardest thing to do. Let's get this out. Um, oh my word, I'm telling you this is delicious. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take that and we'll just use that knife. I'm gonna cut this in half, okay? And I'm gonna take my cheese. Um, for those people that are on my plan, this is a complete lean and green meal. Like this is an entire um, serving that you could, but that's all you, that would be your dinner. 
um, but it is trust me it's plenty and I never can it calls for a little bit more cheese there just isn't room for the cheese and you really don't need it so I'm gonna fold that over okay and I'm gonna put that back in just for a bit and let that cheese melt and then and we're gonna be finished with that um, okay we'll let that just go in there wow let's turn that temperature down some okay now this is so easy to mix up so I have that's what three cups of spaghetti squash look like dried out I'm going to put um, two eggs in here a third of a cup of um, Parmesan cheese you could put um, you could put Italian seasoning in this and it would be good um, we've done that sometimes and sometimes we haven't um, the recipe calls for um, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt I don't add that in at this point one you've got salt in your cheese but I also um, used my salt and pepper and uh, garlic powder as my seasoning as I was roasting my spaghetti squash so I really don't feel like it needs the extra cheese I mean the extra salt so I'm just going to mix this up I'm actually going to go in with my hands in just a minute but I want to make sure that I have everything and Callie can you follow me over to the um, stove and let's is that better having that light on okay I'm going to squish this up with my hands just so I have it mixed up that's like making Callie want to spit up okay so I'm gonna mix that up with my hands I'm literally going to just pour all of that into my pan okay you could use a utensil but I mean you've got utensils on the end of your arm so I just use those I'm going to spread that out and um, just pat that out real good and we're gonna let that cook down I'll cook that on both sides my hands are kind of gross um, I'll cook that on both sides you can try to ease back out if you can good luck it's kind of a maze um, we got some lights just because sometimes our lighting was such a uh, disaster um, and so we got some lights to try to make it better and so I think we have um, we're using a microphone now so I think that should be better so we've got some improvements that we've done for the quality with Kimberly's game plan and let me show you what this looks like here is our finished product okay now I like this um, I can you can do this and you can just cut it in half and you have a grilled cheese Ooh, that's hot okay see you can literally hold that like a sandwich you can also cut this in strips let me show you what one of those would be like you don't know what a strip is but I'm kind of visual so I just like for you to see that so you could have like cheese sticks um, or you could even cut that in half again and just have bite-sized pieces that you could use for an appetizer this is something great that you could have um, for a Super Bowl party um, you could have that with soup um, we that is a good comfort food just when it's cold and rainy or if you have not been feeling well and you need something um, that's just easy on your stomach this is a um, this is something great to have and it is so good for you um, I'm gonna be posting the recipe and I'm gonna let you see look at that and look at all that cheese coming out you really don't need the rest of the cheese that's in there um, it is delicious I'm gonna have a bite cuz cow and this is against my rule because I really don't like to take a bite on camera but I'm going to because this is delicious mmm the spaghetti squash is just a tiny bit it's almost a little bit sweet um, it's just the flavors together are fabulous 
play with the seasonings. You can play with the cheeses that you use for this. I use just a, the Parmesan cheese and then a Mexican cheese. There's a variety of cheeses that you could do, but it is so, so good and it's good for you. So that's it for um, this introductory um, edition of Kimberly's Game Plan. And we are serving up some happy one healthy dish at a time. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.